A very happy morning to my dear students. Today we are going to study about scalar and vector quantities. In physics, we frequently use the word scalar and vector quantities by describing any physical quantity. Now, first of all, we need to know what is a physical quantity. So, anything which can be measured anything which can be measured is a physical quantity for example height of mount everest is 8848 meter mass of any object let me then it can be 2 kg so we can measure the height we can measure mass in some units so that is a physical quantity physical quantity is expressed in two parts you have magnitude and unit magnitude and unit magnitude and unit magnitude is usually a number okay now suppose if you want to measure the length then length also you can measure you can measure the temperature can measure the temperature so all these quantities are which we can measure are known as physical quantity now what we cannot measure can you measure how much love your mother has for you no so that quantity which we cannot measure that are no that is not a physical quantity now now coming to the topic what is the difference between a scalar quantity and a vector quantity so let me give you first we'll just say for example mass is a scalar quantity distance is a scalar scalar quantity speed is a scalar quantity so how are we going to differentiate just remember one thing scalar quantities are those in which for their dis description we do not require any kind of direction for example if i say mass of an object is 40 kg this statement is complete in itself i do not have to say the mass of an object is 40 kg in north direction or mass of an object is 40 kg in south direction this does not does not require any kind of description so scale the mass is a scalar quantity now come to one more example suppose you are standing at one point and you have to reach to your friend's house okay now that is half kilometer away from the uh, where you are standing now your friend tells you to move half kilometer now in which direction will you move you can move in this direction half kilometer you can move in this direction half kilometer this direction also you can move half direction so there are so many possibilities to move along half kilometer direction so he has to specify you clearly that move half kilometer towards the east towards the west direction so he has to mention clearly in which direction you have to move so if you just call this half half is half kilometer is the length of the path half kilometer is the length of the path and in this we are associating a direction that is west so this is known as displacement this uh, the distance which is associated with direction is known as displacement so displacement is a vector quantity so just remember that anything for anything if you are requiring the to specify the direction then that quantity that vector that quantity is your vector quantity for example how fast you are moving is speed so how fast you are moving in a particular direction is velocity so velocity is a vector quantity and speed is a scalar quantity just a length of path is distance the path length in a particular direction is your displacement so this is how we can differentiate between scalar and vector quantity the complete description can you can find it in the description box next video we will see the difference between distance and displacement